Hey, do you need help with your art portfolio? Well, stay tuned because I have plenty of advice and tips to help you get into any college. Coming up next. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hi, my name is Nikila and welcome back to my channel. If you are ready to create the perfect portfolio, well, the wait is over. Let's get started. My first piece of advice would be to go to a portfolio review day. There are at least 20 different colleges there and you're going to pick up something different from each college. This is going to help your portfolio become the best because it's like they're picking at all the different little things and it's going to help you create the perfect portfolio. And also you'll be seeing my portfolio and everything that I learned from my portfolio review day. Okay, so for my first tip, I would say include your strongest pieces first. I know, it sounds kind of like a cliche, but I do believe it's true. If you include your strongest pieces first, it will set the tone of your whole portfolio. This was my strongest piece. It is called Liquify, and I decided to include that as my first piece because one, I am in love with this. It's so vibrant. It's so colorful. It's different. And I also wanted to show my use of tools within Photoshop. And I used the Liquify tool uh, to create this piece. And I also showed the difference between tracking and letting. For my second tip, it would be to have variety. As a graphic designer, we have to wear many hats. So why not show them? So this second piece is called Fire and it is showing my use of digital calligraphy. My third tip is to include high quality photos or designs. It doesn't matter if you draw something and then scan it into the computer, make sure it is high quality. Now I took this with my camera, which is a EOS Canon Rebel T5i, and I made sure that I showed my photography skills, which means positioning of the person, uh, the rule of thirds with cropping, and it's an amazing picture. I mean, look how confident he is. So. Once again, still keeping my strongest pieces first. However, going back to the first tip, you don't have to. You can kind of mix it up, but as long as you just, when they open that portfolio or look at your pieces, you just it should just start with a bang. It just should open up with a bang. So that's, that's a little correction with the first tip. Now with the fourth, I had this question myself because I didn't know what they wanted. It's like, when they said come to portfolio review day they were just like come i mean there was nothing much to it besides the date the time and the location the address and i'm thinking to myself what well, do i have to print my designs out as a graphic designer most of my stuff is digital so i'm thinking do i need to print it out do I need to kind of like put it in a portfolio book? I mean, I don't know. But when I call, she said I can just bring my computer. So for the question, online or physical, it doesn't matter. Do what works best for you. For my fifth tip, it is to tell a story. Now, should your whole portfolio tell a story? It's up to you. However, my portfolio was organized with each piece kind of told its own story or had its own meaning behind it. So with this picture right here, some more of my photography, um, it kind of shows like the vulnerable side of him. You know, he doesn't have his glasses on. It is neutral tones, neutral colors. So it kind of has a bit of vulnerability to it and I love it. So yeah, each piece can tell its own story or you can have a whole portfolio that tells a story. It's completely up to you. Next, it would be to be unique. Now, this, it was, it was one of my hated ones because this was my first time at like photo manipulation and using my face and it's, it's different. But I, I received a lot of questions from different schools. You know, what made you want to cut your face out? So it's, it's different, but different is what we like you know it's what catches our eyes and keeps us there right 
being unique. Don't be afraid to try new things, to try different things, and to not only be unique, but to just be yourself. So, my next one is my favorite, and the tip is basically to go to Portfolio Review Day. I know I stated it in the beginning, but I'm going to state it again. Go to Portfolio Review Day. And also, if you can't go to like a physical one, uh, many colleges such as Ringland and um, RISD have a place where you can submit your portfolio through the internet and also if you're applying to colleges they will ask for a portfolio so you're gonna have to submit your portfolio either way so my advice to you would be to go ahead and submit it now so you can get um, like tips back from it criticism different pointers advice tips all of that so you can get all of that back before it is time to actually submit and the time to submit to colleges are coming up and they're coming up fast. I wish June, trust me, it's going to be here really fast. Okay, so my next piece is a personal favorite because anybody knows me knows I love Demi Lovato. And when I showed this piece, a lot of people were like, well, a lot of the people who were at Portfolio Review Day, it was like, it's fan art. When I tell you I was crushed, what do you mean? Fan art. What? This is an album cover. What do you mean? So, and then if you think about it, it is fan art. So, I'm glad that I was able to receive that piece of advice. And she was like, you know, I love Demi Lovato too. She's amazing. I'm like, yes, yes, she is. But it was like, take it out. <laughs> In a nutshell, just take it out. Don't use it. Don't submit it. You know, it's, it's amazing that you can do like cover art and everything. But, you know, try to stay away from, I guess, celebrities, famous people, artists, musicians. It is seen as fan art. Now, with the other piece I showed you before with Kendrick Lamar, that shows user interface. And they kind of, that was like one of those, I guess, slip ups that they'll allow. Um, because it is user interface and a lot of the times we use different pictures of uh, faces of celebrities, especially that this was for a music app. This was like my Spotify reimagined if they were to kind of like make the buttons a little bit smaller or more simple and cleaner. Um, that was my take on it. So that was like the only thing that I could get past on was user interface. But when it comes to cover art, that's automatically considered um, fan art, especially if it's of a musician that we already know. My next piece of advice would be to show or tell your design process. Being able to show or tell um, how did you get to your final product or your final design is amazing because a lot of people want to understand your thinking like you know how, what did you think to get here you know like why did like the question about being unique what made you want to cut your face out well I just wanted to try something different and you know kind of dive into photo manipulation so I thought why not put the galaxy inside of my face to kind of represent my thoughts my thoughts are ever going you know the galaxy is huge you know it's like no ending to it it's different it's beautiful it sometimes can be different you know I mean so that was my response now my response to this um, was amazing because I, I also got good feedback from it I was thinking of I really as a graphic designer I really want to dive into branding and mock-ups because I love it so 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 much and this was my first take at branding these are like bath salts that you can put in the bath you know um, but my take on it was like I want it to be called like geodes because they kind of if you think about geodes and kind of like if you think about them kind of like being cut up this is what they could look like so it kind of showed my I guess it kind of showed my use of color and how I can you know have different colors but also let them complement each other and let them work if you can't explain it then you don't know it 
And for my final piece of advice, it is to ask for feedback. Don't be afraid to ask for feedback. This is an amazing thing. And when I say ask for feedback, I mean ask and ask everybody. It doesn't have to be your art teacher. It doesn't have to be at portfolio review day. It can be from your parents, your siblings, your friends, you know? Your friends will provide you with the best feedback. I'm like, you know, tell them, be honest, and then everything will just come flying out their mouth. But it's good stuff, it's good stuff. And also when you ask for feedback, it kind of puts your mind in a different place. Oh, you know, I didn't think about it like that. So asking for feedback and going to Portfolio Review Day are the, I guess, two huge pieces of advice that I can give you. And I wish you all the best of luck. And I can't wait to see your portfolios and which colleges you got to submit to. Hey guys, so this is the end of the video. Next up I have bloopers, but I just want to thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And once you subscribe, please turn on my post notifications. And I will see you all next Friday. For my fifth piece of advice, I... Don't, okay, cut it out again. Now, with my sixth... My... Okay, I'm just next piece of advice would be would, okay no. uh animation computer um for computer okay cut it out just cut it all out just cut it all out